Hey, what is up, everybody? I am here to give you my Fear the Walking Dead review um, for this week. This is Season 1, Episode 3, and this episode is called The Dog. Now, before I start the review, I just want to kind of call some people out real quick. I want to, you know, call them out. Um, people are trashing this show because nothing's happened. Not, like, the, like, it's moving at a slow pace. They're going through episodes when nothing's happened. And I kind of want to call you out on that. Um, like, it's been two episodes, and this disease is a slow process. They want to slowly build this up because they can't do a bunch of stuff all at once because then they run out of stuff to do on all the episodes. This is one of those shows you have to be patient with. This is one of those shows where you have to be patient by, by the slow build. Um, I kind of hate that. And then there's that whole thing with the, you know, with... They're killing off all the black people really quick that I talked about in the last review of this. So it's just a mess. But now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's just get right to the review. I haven't watched it yet. I'm a little bit behind because I was doing some homework. Um, but I figured I'd take a break and uh, start watching it. I'll probably just watch it, then go back and do my homework. And I'm going to watch it. And as it goes to commercial, I'll pause it. And I'll uh, give you my thoughts and short videos and combine them into a long video. So this is so here we go. Let's see how if this episode's good. Okay, so the episode kicks off when uh, Chris is looking through like I can't really say the window, but like the garage, like the hole in it. I guess that would be the window, like the peak hole, and somebody's looking through um, with him. It's like some creepy guy too, because everyone's still riding about what happened and uh travis tells him to get away from the window so this obviously was used later on because i think they di originally didn't know people were in there and now they know and then uh back at the house madison um is getting the pills for the his her son i forget his name i'm not gonna lie i just had a huge mind fuck um but that kid let me look up what's his name. Let me see if I can just info this real quick. Uh, DVO. Let me just info this. I'm so sorry. I just DVO. I had a huge mind fuck about the names. Uh, let's see if this is no. I don't think that's it. Nick, that's her son's name, and um, he's like withdrawing from the drugs, which is why she had to go get him in the last episode, and uh, they uh, and uh, he's gonna like snort him up because uh, I guess it's for him. It's fa it activates faster that way, and uh, we hear somebody banging. Um, we hear somebody knocking or scratching on the house, so I'm a feeling that's gonna get used later on. And uh, Alicia says Mrs. D Dawson is gone. And she doesn't really know why Mr. Dawson attacked um, the family next door. You know, because he turned. But she doesn't know really what's going on. And really none of them do, but it's what it is. And um, <clears throat> Nick asks, like, where he's going to get these pills. And Madison says, just save them. We'll ha these are, just, are going to be enough to get you through the desert. And uh, he's like, when are we going? He's like, when Travis gets back. He's like, well, is Travis coming? Who knows if Travis is coming back? He's like, he'll be back. And she's like, he'll be back. And then back at the riots, we treat Travis. Um, hold on. Let's see. Travis. Her, Chris and her um, ex-wife. His ex-wife. Chris's mom. Um. Travis tries to get a, I guess, try to get a hold of Madison, and Chris doesn't want to go to Madison. So he just wants to leave with his family because he's not a huge fan of Madison. Because uh, I guess you know she doesn't, he doesn't like her because he's because she, he's her stepmom and all that stuff. And um, what else? Uh, you know, they wonder what's going to happen when they break in, and uh, the, Travis says that we'll just get out of here. We'll run. Um, and, uh, the guy, um, that owns the, that's the barber, says, uh, that we'll run in different directions to make sure we don't get hurt. But then the building starts getting hot, which means it's probably starting to burn down. 
and then they look outside and see that every other one's still riding and everyone's still smashing shit. So they just are gonna bolt right out of there. They have to bolt right out of there, and they're just gonna stay together. And they start running. Two guys come in and start smashing stuff, and they just start running. And we see somebody has turned into a zombie, and he's um taking down one of the police officers, and is bite obviously biting him, which I thought was cool. Um. And Chris noticed something was wrong there. He's like, Dad, wait. And he was looking at it. I thought that was cool. And Chris, and, and all of them just leave. Chris, Travis, you know, all of them. And the Travis, why it's continuing. And then it goes, like, to the theme song. But I actually like the opening scene here. I thought it was awesome stuff. I know the, my review was a little rusty. I haven't watched this show in two weeks. Um, so I kind of forgot a little bit about the characters' names. Um, but I thought the first scene was really good. I really enjoyed it. Let's see what happens next now. Okay, so now Madison pulls out Monopoly and uh, Nick and Alicia start to play it. The only reason I mention this is because this was the first time they've actually done something as a family when they're not fighting or anything like that. Because normally when we've seen this family together, it's just uh, pretty much dysfunctional. They always fight all the time. You know, Alicia's always fighting with Madison. Alicia's fighting with Nick. M uh, Madison's fighting with Nick. They always fight. They're all fighting with each other. So this was nice to finally see them do something as a family. I thought this was cool. And Alicia had a good line where uh, Nick said he was going to win. And uh, Alicia said, well, this is kindergarten. I just fucking choked. I just remembered it. I had to redo this and I was going to go back. The fuck? Just fucking had this a second ago. Communism. There we go. I don't know why I can't fucking say the word just out of the blue. She said it's kindergarten communism. This game's kindergarten communism. So I thought that was a great line. Uh, thank God we have the internet because I would have just fucking had to d gone back and watched it. But yeah, that happened. I thought that was cool. Then, um, Travis, Liza, um, Chris, and the, uh, I don't really want to say, I feel bad saying this, but the Mexican family, the Balbo, the, and the others, Ophelia, uh, running through the, you know, the riots, the mobs, whatever you want to call it. And they end up running underneath this big heavy object. I don't know exactly what it's called. You stand on it. I thought it originally was a lift that you go up and do things with, but then I don't know what this thing is. I can't lie. I don't know what it is. It's something for construction, and people are on it. They're stuck. The weight riding on it, and the fire department uses the hose, that big hose they have to shoot them down, and the whole thing just falls right onto the uh, the Barbo and Ophelia's mother's foot. And it just falls right on her, so then they get her, so then trap, everybody has to go back to get her out of there, and they do. And then they drive off in Travis's truck, uh, uh, Ophelia's family is sitting in the bed of the truck, and so is, uh, Liza, and, uh, Travis and, uh, Chris are sitting in the truck. And, uh, you, you can just see what, uh, the, her foot looks like, and it just looks bad. It looks like there's a legit hole in there. And it just looks like it's open. It looks like that... It's, it's obviously broken because you can't walk on it because a big fucking thing just fell on her foot. But it just looks bad. And uh, Travis ends up running over his two guys' motorcycle. Well, or girl. some Two people's motorcycles and just drives off. And then uh, Madison and Nick and Alicia continue the game of Monopoly. And uh, Madison thinks she hears something. But then uh, she thinks it's just all in her head, I guess. So they, they just go back. And then the noise doesn't happen anymore. It's probably Mr. Dawson as the zombie. So then uh, Tra they go into a hospital. I didn't. I don't know if I said that. And uh, Travis, um, when they get there, there's like a bunch of police cars. We see an ambulance. Like the uh, when you open up the hood. If you open up the hood a bit, it's like on fire. Uh, like the engine's on, like some fire, well not the engine, but something's on there is on fire. I don't know a lot about cars, so. And then we see what's happening, and people just start shooting a zombie that's turned. 
and they have to duck down and stuff like that. So then uh, they're going to go to another hospital, and um, the Barbo says, you owe me, Travis. And Travis is like, well, I helped you. And he's like, you owe me. Just take me to your house. I'll call my cousin. He'll come pick us up, and everything will be fine. And then he does, and he and he goes to do that. But then we see the lights and all the city just starts going out. The power's going out in the city. Um, and then it cuts to commercial. But I thought this was great stuff. I thought these scene, the the scene with the riots were great. The scene with the shooting Walker was great. And seeing Alicia, Nick, and uh, Madison do things together as a family was great. And Alicia does say that. Uh, because uh, they were wondering when they want to go to bed. When they were doing the scene where Madison thought she heard the zombie. And uh, when that happened, uh, Madison said... Well, because they wanted to go to bed. And Madison said, well, you can go to, we'll go to bed soon. And Alicia says, well, I don't want to go to bed. Because the last... I, I never want to go to bed again after... Uh, while I'm waiting for somebody to come back. So I think that pretty much is what happened. She... Went to bed and her father never returned. So it's probably something with that tie-in. Because we know her father's probably pretty much either dead, I guess. Because we haven't really known. But I thought this was great stuff here. I really enjoyed this stuff. And it's just awesome to see this stuff happen. Because I've always wondered what happened in The Walking Dead when this stuff and it's happened. And it, as I'm watching this show, it makes me look forward to watch The Walking Dead. Because now I know pretty much what they, the people in The Walking Dead have gone through. With this show. By seeing people riot and stuff like that. So we know what probably they went through. I don't know if it was as bad as probably this. But. They could have been worse. It could have been. You know. But. I think this just gives us an idea. Of like these riots. And the police obviously know something's going on. But they're not telling us what's happening. And I think that also hurt it. But, obviously, but they probably don't want to say what happened. Because then. Maybe they're afraid everybody would kill themselves, and then we have a bunch of zombies running around. Maybe they're afraid everybody would just go crazy. Uh, so obviously the police know something because we we've been seeing them pack waters in the um, trunks and stuff like that. So obviously the police know something, and I guess this is like one of the main reasons is they knew something was happening, but they wouldn't tell us what was happening. That's usually what happens, um, and like World War One and stuff like that. Um, and this isn't like people like Dale or Dixon, you know, who could deal with this world. These are, I mean, people like with, like me probably. Like people who live their lives just normally. They don't go all out and do whatever they want. So they, 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 you know, they just don't know. But I'm just kind of rambling. Let me continue with my review and watching the show and stuff like that. I just figured I'd talk about that. I'm just hyped for this show. I don't even know. Can't explain it. Okay. So next, um, um, Madison, Alicia, and Nick go back at the house. And, uh, Nick's, like, saying a bunch of stuff. Like, what if Travis doesn't come back? Because it's been six hours. What do you get stuck in traffic? Because I obviously don't know about the riots. And, uh, Nick is saying, well, I don't mean to be an asshole, but what if Travis, you know, went back to Liza, went back to Chris, and wanted to be with that family? They fell in love again, he just left her, and, um, he's like, Madison says, Travis, this is, tr this is our family. No, they pretty much, he pretty much says Travis ain't coming back. He left her for Liza, he fell in love with Liza again. And, um, Alicia looks outside and thinks she sees Mr. Dawson. And, uh, they look around, and, uh, Chris, Nick says, you have to tell, um, Alicia, because she still don't know about that, about what's going on with the zombie apocalypse or, and anything like that. She's seen it before, but she thought it was fake in, like, the first episode. And, um, they hear, some, they hear something scratching on the screen door, so when they open it, we're supposed to think it's a zombie, but it ends up being a dog. We don't, it was like, um... A shepherd. I forget what kind of dog it was. Not gonna lie. So then they they let him in, and the dogs. He's not covered with blood, but there's blood on him. It's on like the side of him and his paw. One of his and like his front left paw, and uh, it's not his blood. So um, when uh, Nick looks up, I think well one of them. I don't remember who looks up, but when they look out the window, obviously Alicia hasn't. They see 
I think it's Mr. Dawson, but I'm not really sure because I don't remember what he looks like. But they see a, zom a zombie pretty much outside. So they run outside the house. Um, and they run to the neighbor's house, which was Patrick and uh, Susan. And, uh, they and Madison and Nick find a gun. And uh, Alicia's just by herself. Um, because she still don't know what's going on, but, uh, Alicia, I, um, I thought was going to get attacked since she was by herself and stuff like that. I wonder if that's how Alicia's going to find out. Somebody, either she's going to get bit, um, but I feel like it's going to happen soon because it's at a commercial. I feel like when they get back from commercial, she's going to find out why, you know, if it, she's going to find out what's going on. But, um... They find a gun, they find bullets, and they're gonna shoot, and, uh, one of the zombies goes inside their house, and they attack the dog. It was kind of sad. Um, I guess this must not be a very strong dog, though, because he, but I guess maybe he thought it was, like, he's a friendly dog, so he was saying hi, but it was just sad. You can even hear him, like, whimpering and stuff like that. And then, um, they're just gonna shoot this thing, but then, uh, Travis comes back. And he obviously doesn't know about this, so if he goes in there, he'll get jumped. Um, so they run back to the house so they can try to win Travis, because I think they tried to call him, but I'm assuming he didn't win his phone because he ran out of the uh, barbershop, like, fast, so I'm assuming that's what happened. And that's all that's happened, but this was great stuff. I really enjoyed this scene. Um, and I feel like the next scene, like, when, when it comes back from commercial... We're going to find out what... Alicia will find out about the apocalypse. That's my prediction as of right now. So let's see if it happens. Okay, so next. Um, Travis. Travis and all the others. Chris. Um, Liza. And I found out his name is Daniel. The barber. I don't know the... Ophelia. All of them come back to the house. And obviously they don't know about... Um, Mr. Dawson. Because... And he's his army and stuff like that. That he's even there. And Madison, um, Alicia, and uh, Nick are trying to get back to the house so that way they can save him in time. And Travis sees uh, Mr. Dawson. He's eating that dog, which I thought was sad. Um, and uh, the lights come back on, so this causes the zombie to turn around and... Uh, Travis just thinks he's sick. They've been thinking they're sick the whole time. Um, and uh, Travis is trying to get him to snap out of He's trying to talk to him. He's like, you're sick, buddy. But he's trying to, like, be a zombie. He's being a zombie, biting him and stuff like that. And um, Madison comes up with the gun. And she's going to shoot him, but she uh, doesn't really do it. And um, then uh, Daniel grabs the gun and shoots Mr. Dawson. In the face. He doesn't shoot him in the brain. Because that's the only way to kill the zombie. He, shoot, he shot him like right here. So then he just shot him in the brain. And um, that and this killed Mr. Dawson. And uh, as this was happening. Alicia was told to go back to the house to get some bullets. And she does. And then she sees another zombie. And she starts running. And then she sees... Um, one about trying to bite her hair when she tries to escape. And Chris went out and got sick because of what ha seeing the zombie die. And uh, Chris saves Alicia. She throws her up over the fence. And Alicia gets, gets pissed about this and kicks her right in the face. And this causes um, Chris's nose to bleed. And um, tra um, when they see that... And Chris gets pissed that she did that because he was trying to save her. And, uh, we find out that this is Susan. And, um, you know, uh, they just talk about how she's sick. And, uh, she's like, and Alicia doesn't know what's going on. She's like, what's happened to her? And Nick says that she's dead. She's not sick, she's dead. And, um, Alicia says, that can't be possible. M Matt can't be like that. He just can't. And, uh, then that was it. But yes, all these people trashing this, they didn't just kill off the black guys this time. Mr. Dawson, not black. Um, Susan, technically, I guess you can't really say was really a character, so. 
I can't help you there. But yeah, they didn't just kill off the black guys because technically Mr. Dawson became a regular character even though he was dead when he became a character. He still was a main character. So no, they didn't just kill off the black guys. They killed off a white guy. Um, so yeah. Uh, it's just how it is. So then, um, uh, Travis looks at Chris's nose, and Chris just wants his mom to do, to do it, but Travis says, no, let me do it. I've broken my nose a ton of times, and Chris asks, like, if we're gonna get this disease, like, I don't think we will, um, and, uh, then that was really it there. Uh, this was kind of a nice moment, because this was a nice father-son moment, because they never really got to have that, because Chris has always resented his father, and then what happens next? Um... Travis is pulling out Mr. Dawson, the dead Mr. Dawson, and uh, Daniel comes over and says, "You know, you could, you should just burn this body because uh, this would uh, help." Oh, actually, I did forget a scene. So they're not gonna leave tonight because Travis just wants to stay because he thinks it's too dangerous to leave now. But they, all, Alicia and uh, Madison, just want to leave because they think it's too dangerous now. They have to leave, and um, you know they're just gonna leave. Daniel, Ophelia, and the wife there, because their cousin's going to come pick them up in the morning, and, um, they say, and they're looking at a foot, and, um, Travis says that, uh, you know, um, Madison, and I guess they convince him pretty much to leave, to stay, um, says that we'll defend ourselves, we'll help, we'll defend the family, and uh, that was it, but, uh, yeah, um, and Travis, but back to the scene, it was, Travis says that Mr. Dawson doesn't deserve what he got, and, and then, uh, Travis is talking to, um, Liza, and, uh, she says that she is, she's not really, um, Travis says you're doing a lot by helping her, and, uh, um, Liza says I'm not really helping her because she really needs a doctor, she doesn't need a nurse, and if she doesn't get a doctor soon, this will get infected, it will go through her organs, and her organs will fill, and then she'll die, which means she'll turn into a zombie, um, and, uh, then they talk, and, uh, this was, like, a nice relationship, kind of, not really a relationship kind of thing, but I thought this was a nice moment, and, um, Ophelia, the next scene, Ophelia, um, wants to just go with, uh, Tra wants to just go with Travis and everybody, Madison and everybody else to the desert because they f she feels like they'll be safe there and uh, they'll be able to, um, and that if um, her mom goes back to the other country, she's still going to need help with the infection. And uh, they just say they listen to her father, so he, uh, she obviously doesn't like this. I feel like what's going to happen with this is either uh, Ophelia is just going to end up going with Travis and, the, uh, and because... Uh, Daniel doesn't want to deal with these people because they're not family, and I guess, uh, Ophelia, um, Ophelia says that, well, your cousin is, all our, all our family was buried in El Salvador, um, so I feel like that's what's happening, and then Madison comes back, Madison tells him that she got the pills from the high school, and, uh, Madison said that she thought he lost her because she thought he went back with, uh, Liza, he thought he was gonna date, he was gonna end up be, you know, they were going to end up getting back together, but Travis says that I'll never leave her. And then um, Liza and Madison are in the next scene. And uh, Madis and Liza says, I know we haven't always been friends, but let's just come together for the sake of our kids. And Madison asks her to do a favor. Make that if I ever end up like Susan, I want you to be the one to kill me. I don't want Travis to have to do it because it will break him. And I guess she agrees to it, which I thought was this was an awesome scene. This, this was awesome stuff. It definitely died down a little bit, but I was fine with it. It was more storyline building, and I thought this, these were awesome scenes, especially the scene with Madison and um, Liza. That was awesome. I feel like that's going to get used. I don't think she's going to end up killing, obviously killing, but maybe it will happen to Liza. I'm not really sure, but I can't wait to see it. So let's see what happens next. Okay, so this scene was fucking awesome. Um, so... Travis buries Mr. Dawson in the ground, and then, um, Daniel is teaching, um, uh, Chris how to use a gun, 
And obviously, and Travis isn't happy. He's like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "I gotta teach him how to use a gun." He's gonna, and he even says when he walks away that he has to know how to use a gun because he's gonna need to, which is true. Um, but uh, Travis says, "I don't, you know how I feel about guns because I guess he doesn't like guns." And uh, Daniel says, "It doesn't matter how you feel about them um, because you're gonna need them." I thought that was a great line. And then uh, before they leave, Madison says, there's something that I have to do. So then um, Ma and Madison um, has a hammer. Like she's going to kill uh, Susan, which I figured was going to happen. And I didn't say this earlier in the review because I forgot. But uh, Ophelia, um, Susan's done a lot for Madison. She helped her with her kids. She helped her after her husband died. She helped her a lot. She And... I thought that was cool. And uh, Madison doesn't want her husband to see her this way, Patrick. And um, Travis like, well, she can be saved. I just don't want you to do something that can't be undone. I don't want you to do something that you can regret. Because Madison says she's dead. We're like, well, you don't know that for sure. I feel like Madison kind of knows that, though, because of what happened with Odie in the last episode. So, um, But she doesn't do it. And Daniel was watching through the window, and he says, weak. In Spanish, because they speak Spanish. And, um... Ophelia is upset that they're not going with uh, Travis or anything. And uh, Ophelia says, if you ask Travis, you can go with you. He would say, yes, these are good people. And, uh... uh Daniel says in Spanish, um... Good people are the first to go. I thought that was a great line. And they start to leave. Alicia leaves... And uh, Nick is also pissed because uh, he took away, Madison took away some of his pills. And they drive away. And then um, what happens? Uh, as they're driving away, um, what ha uh, Madison sees Patrick pulling into the driveway. And uh, Madison's going to come run P Patrick because he's obviously going to see what um, Susan looks like so when he but he goes in the backyard and he sees Susan and he just can't believe it and we see the helicopters flying over we saw him all flying over earlier and he goes to hu hug her Madison tries to warn him but we think he's gonna bite him but then the, the I guess the army comes up and shoots Susan right in the head kills her pulls everybody back and then went right to commercial and you could kind of see Madison's tip kind of pop out a little bit I thought that was cool I know it's been a little bit perversion, but I saw what I saw. It wasn't like I looked on purpose. It was on screen, so... Um, but this was great stuff. I thought the stuff um, with Madison about to kill Susan was great. Um, and uh, I thought the stuff with Daniel has been great. And I thought the stuff with Patrick coming home and seeing her like this. I can just imagine what it'd be like to come home and see your wife... I don't know if he thought he was dead, but just in this state, I can't imagine that. That's just, I'm, that's just, that would be ruling. But this has been a great episode of the fall, and there's one part left that I'm going to watch right now. Okay, so the military are all there. They're searching the scale in the house. They uh, get, uh, Travis They get and Madison give all the information, who's with them and all that stuff. Um, and Madison asks where Patrick is and Patrick has to go with the infected because he he got her blood on her I mean he's she's like wait but that's her wife's his wife's blood and he's like it doesn't matter uh it, it wasn't his wife anymore so then um she leaves well she then they and then no then uh the guy that she was talking to finds the the uh the grave where uh Travis dug up Mr. Dawson and she he asked what it is, and uh, she says, "Well, her dog died. I think she lied." Um, and uh, he's like, "Oh, it's a shame." But I think it was obviously a lie. I think I think it was just it was obviously Mr. Dawson. And then uh, Madison doesn't. He asked if anybody else was exposed to um, Susan, and she says no. But that's obviously not true either, because I think. If I'm not mistaken, Alicia was exposed because she was with Susan. So, that's that. And they pretty much condemn the house. 
I think Nick tried to break into the house to see what was going on, but it didn't work. Someone was waving at him through the window. And then um, it shows Daniel just saying it's too late. I guess me and it condemned the house. And then that was the end of the episode. And uh, I thought this was an awesome episode. Something I haven't mentioned is it seems like Daniel kind of know what's going on, what's happening. You know, uh, because he knows about, he feels like he knows about the apocalypse. I don't really know how, but he just kind of seems like it. Because he's brought up the fact about them burning. He kind of knows how to kill these things. And, you know, it just seems like it. I don't know. He's like the foreshadowing character, kind of. Because we all, he knows all the stuff that the people in The Walking Dead know. So, I think that's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, this episode was awesome. I really enjoyed it all the way through, pretty much. There was really nothing bad about it. I thought it was awesome. Uh, and I can't wait to see the next one. I can't wait to see what happens with... Uh, just everything overall. I'm just really excited about what happens in the next one. Um, it just right when you thought that everything was going to go great for them, they were going to go to the desert, everything was going to be fine. Uh, it, it's nothing. You know, it's it, it, they took a step backwards, and everything's just bad now. So I can't wait to see the episode next week. And I'll be back next week to do my Fear the Walking Dead review. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you can uh, subscribe to my CM Brothers channel up, th up there where I talk about um, other videos. And you can subscribe to my channel down below um, where I ha make other videos on this channel. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'll be back next week to do another Fear the Walking Dead review.